Okay, so now that we've got multi-ROM installed on the tablet, I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of ROMs uh, that I'm going to install. One of them is going to be the uh, Paranoid Android ROM. Uh, this one's pretty popular actually. It gives you a really good user experience, or a tablet experience. Um, less like a phone, more like a tablet, which is something that I'm kind of looking for. And another one I'm going to install will be the AOKP. I've always loved AOKP ROMs. Um, their customization is always really great. You can usually have 1% battery mods and put the clock in the middle of the uh, notification bar or get rid of the notification bar, really, kind of whatever you want. I'll include both links uh, to this so you have them. Now, with both ROMs, you're going to have to flash the ROM and the uh, gaps. So we're going to have to flash uh, gaps. If you don't know what those are, those are Google apps. Um, so first I'm going to install the Paranoid Android. Uh, the download link is going to be here. Well, here's where you uh, get the download for the ROM, the gaps, and if there's any fixes, which right now, uh, as far as I know, there's not. Um, and the most recent version is going to be here at the bottom, the 2.99 uh, beta zip. Okay, so we need to flash that. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to turn this off and move over to my tablet. Now we have multi-ROM installed and we're able to have multiple ROMs on our tablet at the same time. And it's great because this is my stock ROM and now this is protected. I don't have to worry about these system files uh, being wiped. Now it's good to still do a backup, but Let's see, all right, let's go ahead and go to Quick Boot. Quick Boot, and we're going to go into Recovery. And this is the, of course, the TWRP recovery, or a lot of people are calling it twerp. All right, so in order to get to multi-ROM to where we can flash a ROM, we're going to go to advanced, and then multi-ROM is here at the bottom. Then we're going to go to add ROM. So let's go ahead and do that first. Now, we're going to add, we're going to go ahead and leave this share. It's Android, share, and internal memory. That's fine. We're going to click next. And we're going to be doing this through a zip file that I downloaded. Now, I've already got the file selected. Uh, you may have to find this. Uh, for example, this is the SD card. A lot of times, this is where it brings you. And my file... Oh, no, actually, this is the very beginning. SD card. And then... I actually downloaded my ROMs through the Goo Manager app, so mine are there. If you just transfer them over, they'll probably be at the actual root. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to flash the PA Grouper 2.99 Beta 9.5 Zip. Swipe to confirm. So this is the Paranoid Android ROM. And again, it's a good idea to do this with high battery. As you see, mine's 93%. It's never good to risk. Okay, now we need to flash gaps, but if you've used any anything else like for phones like SafeStrap, it's not the same thing. You can't just flash it back to back. You have to go back, and you have to go to list ROMs here, and this is going to list every ROM that we have. Now your stock ROM's not going to be on here. As of right now, the only ROM that's on here is going to be the PA Grouper we just installed. So we're going to tap that, 
and then we're going to go to flash zip. Now this will flash any zips just for the PA grouper. So I'm going to flash the PA gaps, and you can actually use these gaps for AOKP as well. You don't have to re-download the gaps again. Let's swipe to confirm. And again, these are Google Apps for Android 4.2.1. So again, I updated and then I rooted and yeah, you'll have to watch my root video. Okay, so we're gonna select Reboot System because we're done with that. You have to flash the ROM and the gaps. It's gonna bring us to the multi-ROM screen, screen. And this is where we actually select what we want to boot by. And see right now, internal, that's gonna be stock and we're going to go ahead and select we want to boot our paranoid android. Now that internal is completely intact. All my data, all my apps, uh, my screen, everything is still saved there. So let's go ahead and boot up paranoid android. Now the first initial boot of any ROM is going to take longer than normal. So don't let that ever panic you. And the great thing about having multi-ROM on your tablet is even if, let's say, this operating system totally messed up, it was maybe had some files that were bad, it was a bad download, that's happened to me multiple times, you're safe because you still have your internal system saved. So you don't have to be concerned about, oh gosh, well what if I can't boot at all, or what if I brick or get stuck in a boot loop? It's not really as relevant now because you have your internal system still saved. So it's really nice. Now remember it's a good idea before you start installing ROMs that you let your internal ROM boot at least once. Don't just get into multi-ROM and then start installing all kinds of different ROMs. Alright, so we're going to start. Okay, just entered in my uh, Wi-Fi and my account information. Yes, I do want to... Now I'm actually setting Paranoid Android up to keep, so I'm going to go ahead and select yes for those okay and uh, this is actually going to be my first time to really try out uh, paranoid android but I've heard it's awesome it's got a lot of good customization alright so there's paranoid android Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Play Store. Actually, let me see if it's in the apps of Paranoid Android. I'm going to look for the uh, for that quick boot again. I'll just go ahead and do it this way instead of doing it the hard way so you guys know how to get that. Okay, quick boot reboot. We're going to install and open. All right, let's go back to recovery. I'm going to grant the Super SU. If you're not familiar with the difference between Super SU and Super User, it's really the same thing. I like Super SU better. Super User has been around longer, but to me, Super SU is a little more stable. Okay, so now let's go ahead and install uh, our AOKP ROM as well. So we're going to go to Advanced Multi ROM. Let's add another ROM. That's all fine. Next zip file. So we're going to do AOKP Grouper. Swipe to confirm. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to go back to the list ROMs. Now we have two, AOKP. We're going to flash the zip and we need to flash those gaps. Okay. 
Some people call them gaps. Some people call them G apps, Google apps. To me, gaps is easy. All right, let's reboot system. Now we have three different ROMs on, on this tablet. We have stock ROM, we have paranoid Android, and we have AOKP. Now I like AOKP a lot, but I'm gonna try paranoid Android because I've heard such good things about it. So let's go to AOKP and we're gonna boot into that. Okay, all right, here we go. So I'll go ahead and set up my Wi-Fi. Okay, got past the Wi-Fi and the account. So I'm just signing in now. Yeah, I'll go ahead and keep the tablet backed up with my Google account. I want the same apps on there. And setup is complete. Okay, and there you have it. Now with the AOKP, you've got your Nova launcher, your home launcher. I prefer the Apex launcher, but this is fine for now. All right, guys, there you have it. Now um, you have three different ROMs that you can boot into. Real quick, I'll show you this. I'll go ahead and re-download the quick boot one more time. And I'll show you how to change back to that stock ROM. Okay, we're going to go into recovery and grant that Super SU. Okay, we're just going to go to Okay, once we get to this screen, we're just going to go to Reboot, Reboot System, and that will bring us back to our multi-ROM, and then we'll be able to choose which uh, partition we want, and I'm just going to go back to the stock, which is internal. All right, there we go. There's the stock ROM. And so now, guys, I've got three different ROMs on my tablet at the same time, so it's a wonderful app. Multi-ROM is a great, great app. So uh, happy flashing. Have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching.